Hello, YouTube. Welcome to a video. And today we're taking a tour at the Wet Spot Tropical Fish Store. And this is a really big store and a lot of tanks, and I couldn't get them all, but I tried. So these are the desert gobies. Pretty cool. And I'm not going to know a lot of these fish, and I'm probably not going to talk about every single tank that I see, but I'm going to do my best. Some grammies, barbs, rainbows, so what I see in there. And here we got some more rainbows and, uh, what do you call them? Damn clown loaches. There you go. Rainbow fish and clown loaches. They're pretty cool. Tiger barbs. Haven't really kept tiger barbs and crebenzas. They had a bunch of crebenzas and other West African cichlids. Bunch of cichlids. That's a really cool pelvic chromis. Some Congo tetras. This is a really cool killifish. I didn't, I didn't really see the names of most of them, so um, yeah. But they're really cool. This is a tank full of crebenzas. No shortage here. With some uh, watermelon plecos, big uh, just really cool pleco. I like this guy. He is really cool. With some other really little plecos. This is another really cool killie I saw. It looks like they got them in pairs too. All their killifish they had in pairs. And these are some barbs. A really cool barb that I liked. With some black coolie loaches. And some other little gobies. That's a blue-eyed panak pleco. That's a really cool pleco. Really big. These are pistos and diamond head tetras. I haven't seen diamond head tetras before, so those are pretty cool. Some quarry cats. They had lots of quarry cats. more pistos and I believe these are black neon tetras and none of this is really oh that's a zebra auto that's a really cool freaking fish and uh yeah that zebra auto was pretty cool never seen those and my love and only you know Oscars, I love my Oscars, and they had so many different types of them. They're really cool. And these were a type of uh, geophagus with some other live bear. And those were little severums, I think, other little South Americans. Those were Salvinis. And a convict. I think some geophagus. There's a cool Texas cichlid Jack Dempsey's. And those are pike cichlids. And I'm not sure what the other ones were. Some more Oscars and geophagus. These are uh, peacock bass, so they do have monster fish here. More. These are severums, gold severums. These are waru, really cool fish. They will tear up plants though. Some more Oscars. Not sure what these cichlids were, but they are really cool. Kind of look like an Akara. 
And then they had some wild Peruvian angelfish, is what they were calling them. Some more other earth eaters, I think, by looking at them. And some catfish. Some Jack Dempsey's. There are some really nice looking ones in there. And some Firemouth cichlids. And this was one of the displays. And it had Amazon puffers. It was a Amazon biotope. It was made by one of the staff members. They did a really good job on it. This is another one of the displays. And another one, Tiger Barbs. And now we're getting into the African cichlid side. And I don't really know much about African cichlids. So I'm going to try. I think these are Frontosa. I have no idea what these are, but they're really cool. You guys can let me know if you know. But they are really neat. And the wet spot always has really rare fish. I know those are Brichard eye. <laughs> oh, and that's a clown knife. Another monster with some eels and snakehead gouramis. Those will get pretty big, about a foot long. Some more Africans. They're pretty cool. And these guys were really, really colored up. I've never kept African cichlids, but they are really intriguing. These are peppermint pike somethings. Oh, crap. Like, oh. Uh, I forget what they're called, but they're really cool. These guys are really active. Feed me, feed me. <laughs> Some big eels in here, man. With some clouded archer fish, true freshwater, and some really nice looking blood parrots. And these are some datnoids. These are a dream fish of mine that I don't really talk about much, but they get absolutely massive. So, you know, one day, but. Hmm. And then these are the red eye puffers. They're really cool. This was one of their discus displays. And some more rift like cichlids. I'm not going to try and name them because I have no clue. That's a really good one. So many cool colors from African cichlids. These are some geos. Some of them got some nipped fins, but that's a ornate Bashir, Bashir, or whatever you want to call it. Really cool. I think that's uh, what you call a lower jaw species. And some discus. They had a whole bunch of discus, and they all looked nice. Another type of catfish, not really sure. And it had this big old puffer. I like puffer fish, they're really cool. But he was really active. My girlfriend really wanted him. But she just got her pea puffers. And that was a wild discus. I couldn't, I, I thought I got more footage, but I didn't. And these are the uh, adult wild angels forget which kind and I have no idea what that thing is but those are black ghost knives obviously but that catfish 
he looked goofy. And these are Indian leaf fish, or an African leaf fish, whichever one. I think those are some chocolate cichlids and some bigger severums, red shoulder severums, I believe, with some silver dollars. And that guy really stuck out to me. And that's a five star general with some Vieja and Texas cichlids. The Vieja is one of the other cichlids I want to keep. It's a Vieja and Spilum. It's another big bicher with some butterfly cichlids. It's a really nice Frontosa, a big one. He was in with a bunch of other cichlids. <laughs> I really wish I knew more about those uh, African Rift Lake cichlids, but I don't. <clears throat> These are Amazon puffers, and I don't know what kind of puffer that is. Some more discus. These ones were a little bit more peppered up than the others. Amazon puffers are cool. And here's a really cool cichlid. I don't know what that guy is, but he is cool. With, and he's with some bichers. And a little baby silver arowana with some discus. That's really, really cute. But, you know, they get four feet long. There's that guy. They look cool. I think they're called like a goby cichlid or something like that. It's a really nice discus right there. I like the darker colors on discus. And I recognize these fish right away. Some, a big old tank of rainbow cichlids. Mine got some growing up to do, but yeah, those are pretty big. A lot bigger than mine. And then this is Ruby. That's the store mascot if you call she's Bahaka puffer in a big half circle tank with plants and there's a couple bristle nose plecos in there and uh, I think those are Brichard eye and those little cichlids oh this is the tank that I want to get, but it's uh, pretty pricey, so one day. These are some cool looking guppies, really like these, like the different colors, but I think they were all males. And that anchor catfish, he's really cool, couldn't get it in focus, but And then this was another display. Before COVID, this tank was overgrown with tanks. It kind of sucks to see it like this, but at least the others are doing better. Got Dennis and Barb's. That's a, some other pleco that I have no clue what it is, but it's a pleco. It looks really cool. These are some dwarf rainbows. Recognize these from HC Aqua's logo. Some hatchet fish. Some more guppies. Some apistos and tetras and big honking quarry cats. Like that's a chunk of a quarry cat. They had so many quarry cats. The whole bottom row was just quarry cats on that row tank. 
and then the whole middle row was pretty much all epistos. They had a lot of cool epistos. But that's pretty much all the footage I got of the wet spot tropical fish. And really hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.